There's Chevelle Holbeck ready for the rematch. Ten rounder, Raul Caiz, your referee tonight. Remember, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. Go back to your corners and wait for us. Leila McCarter, she has chronic pain in her right hand. It's an injury that won't go away. Doctors have told her surgery would require her to give up her boxing career. She's not ready to do that. So instead, she has found ways to punch with that right hand, and she says she doesn't aggravate it. And in the gym, she has developed a heck of a left hook to make up for the lack of a right hand. Well, it would be much more damaging to a career. McCarter, of that is, if that injury was on the left hand from an orthodox fighter. The left hand, of course, paves the way. You know, that's the hand that does 80% of the work. So you never want to see a fighter go in there handicapped. But McCarter's a pro. She will use the right hand when she needs to. The most important thing is the left hand, the lead hand. That is, that's fine. Both fighters jumped in and score. Hallback probably got the better of it with a body shot early on. And obviously, they have a good sense of each other from that first fight. So they're not holding back anything here in this opening round. Well, the sense so far is just what Hallback says. She thinks she's a stronger woman. She thinks she can break down Makata. She's coming forward, fresh and bringing the heat. And Makata's looking to counter punch and box. See Hallback's knockout ratio there, 38%. McCarter only 6%. Not a knockout puncher. Fullback has the attitude that she can do it on her own, just pressing forward, creating an offense. Well, Carter so far has the attitude, has shown us, that she needs a little help. She's pressing spots, but she wants to keep Fullback off balance, and she wants Fullback to help her a little bit, like that. To reach in a little bit, come forward, get a little reckless. Well, Carter wants to be able to take advantage of that recklessness. She wants to box so far. Pull back wants to do that. Come forward. Carter trying to work behind that jab. Pace has slowed here in the final minute of this first round. Fall back in the Carter. The rematch scheduled for 10 rounds around Friday night fight presented by Miller Lowe. Salayla McCarter grew up in Spokane, Washington. When she was 15, she moved out of her home, got herself an apartment, got herself a job, and worked out in the gym. Always addicted to working in the gym, from Taekwondo to Judo, and then eventually boxing. Times got tough for her later in her teens, couldn't afford her rent, so she cut a deal with the boxing gym, Teddy. She said she'd live in the back office for a year, open and close the gym, run the classes, and work out all she wants. Independent woman finally took $500, moved to Vegas, and started her pro boxing career. Day after she got her driver's license, boom, she moved to Vegas, as you just talked about, to do what she dreamed about doing. This, give her credit, do what she wanted, she acted on it. There is Hallback trying to finish off that combination with a right hand up top. A right hand from McCarter catches Hallback. Hallback is a little wide with the punches. He might be stronger, but this particular sport's not always about that. Not always kind to the stronger people. It's about who has the better plan, who has the better execution, who has the better technique sometimes. Right now, McCarter has the plan. She might not be as strong as Hallback, but she knows what she needs to do to be competitive in this fight. Take advantage of Hallback's mistakes. Try to control the outside, use the jab, keep a little distance. Maybe get Hallback to reach in a little bit. Do this. Hallback has to be careful. Yeah, she might be strong, but she better not be reaching in from too far away with those wide shots. McCarter knows what she wants to do tonight. She's got a good plan. Pressure and power of Chevelle Hallback against the boxing of Layla McCarter. And I think a much better round here in the second round for McCarter. There's you. From the Pavel Resort and Spa, just about an hour north of San Diego. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, Johnny Tapia, and Brian Kenny in studio tonight. You're watching Layla McCarter and Chevelle Hallback in round number three of the scheduled ten rounds. Hallback firing away in the gray truck. You know, I enjoy this fight. 
this is good fighting, period. Women, men, whatever. This is good fighting. Both know what they're doing. Both in great shape. Both coming with incentive, with passion. And each one knows what they think they want to do. Fullback wants to get inside. McCarter wants to box. Teddy, it's a good point that you make talking about the fact that it's an enjoyable fight to watch. It's the kind of female fight that should be on TV because you're seeing two women who are skilled at what they do, passionate and dedicate themselves to what they do. And Holbeck made the point yesterday in talking to us, Teddy, saying that's what women's fighting needs is good female fighters in the ring. Well, hold not it. Rank amateurs getting thrown in there in TV fights. I agree. I watch this every week. They want to fight. They show that. And they know how. That's all you ask. Just a moment ago, a whole back started going to that body. Figures that if McCarter's going to box, which she's shown she's definitely going to do, well, going downstairs would make sense. Whole back feels she's more than she did before. Turn pro, the bigger woman, 147 pounds, 137 pounds or more, nine times. She figures that it creates to being stronger. McCarter, smaller. Turn pro, 129 pounds. Most fights between junior lightweight and featherweight. Just moved up to junior welterweight. Last three fights. And now McCarter down to the lightest weight she's been in over one and a half years. She knows what this fight means. Coming to the end of round three, scheduled for ten between McCarter and Paul Prayers out to Al Gavin. Al Gavin's in a fight right now. Big Al, we know you're going to win it. God bless you. God bless your family. And just keep hanging in there. And anybody that knows Al Gavin feels that way this week. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. Round number four between McCarter and Hallback. Hallback digging to the body, tries to break away with a right hand. Looking to pick up the pace here in the early moments of this fourth round. Hallback grew up an army brat, lived all over the world. Says it made her more mature, but it didn't make her tougher. That comes with from within, she says. See, she's she so, is a tough customer. And she's a smart customer, Joe, because she's adjusting a little bit, not just walking in. She saw that McCarter had a little bit of her number. She was looking to counterpunch, take advantage of Hallback's walking forward, Hallback's aggression. So Hallback now is showing that she can be flexible. She's looking to box a little bit, go in and out, mix it up, not be predictable. Teddy scorecard, two rounds to one in favor of Chevelle Hallback. Speaking of scoring, we talked about that first fight that they fought in Savannah, Georgia. That's where Hallback was fighting out of at the time. She won 15 straight fights in her career in Savannah, Georgia. You know, McCarter learned a really good lesson in that first fight, and that is that you have to bring it all the time, and you have to dominate if you expect to get anything in this game. One of the judges scored that fight, and then he reached out to the third was a close fight. 100 to 90, another judge had it 97 to 95. Well, right now, the strength of Hallback starting, starting to show itself a little bit. Good work there from Hallback. 